Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this training session. This is going to be session to a continuation from last week's session where we discussed trading CL. Now, of course, you can apply what I cover in today's session to any market, whether you trade futures, forex, or stocks. And today I'll be focused on using Renko charts. And um, if I get a chance, I will uh, show you what it looks like or what our setups look like on tick charts as well. But uh, remember that you can apply the concepts to any chart type. Now I'm also going to be referring to a number of calculators and as members they are in the members area, but also you can click on the download links below and Al will send you the um, calculators as well. So this is session two. Now, one thing I want to mention here is I'm just going to um, just run through an idea with you on the micro CL in a moment. It's a great spot to start. So even if you've got five, ten, twenty thousand dollars, you're ready to start trading a big contract. Why don't you start on the micro? Uh, I call it earning your stripes. Make all the mistakes you're going to make on a smaller account, and it doesn't hurt. But also, you're building your skill set along the way. I do need to pull up the disclaimer traders there is a risk in trading do not trade with money that you can't afford to lose and as always start on this simulator master the setups on the simulator and progress from there and of course as you're watching a recording here you can always pause a recording to read the, dis the uh, disclaimer now in today's session I am going to be teaching you and going through some of my core setups now remembering we've now got over 10,000 members globally so we've got members uh, uh, with all levels of experience so some of the setups uh, may be more advanced uh, for our advanced members but what is very important if you're a newer trader or if you're struggling struggling let me get that out right put my teeth back in but uh, if you're struggling right now focus on the 2B. In fact, the 2B is the only setup you'd need to trade the rest of your life. That's all you would actually need. But as you'll see, there are some beautiful counter trend setups at times. We've got the 34Bs, etc. But remember the Goldilocks rule not too easy, not too hard, just right. Become a specialist. You know, less is more. Okay, if, because the more setups you have in front of you, you try to master initially, the more difficult it is for you to learn how to trade. Now, here is uh, my spreadsheet here on account size requirements. And this is on the proviso, of course, that you never risk any more than 2%, which is like our golden rule. Now, as you, your account grows, I actually recommend you drop that down to 1%. Yes, your return on equity is lower. However, it makes trading a lot easier. Now, as today we're focused on CL, I don't actually have the micro CL as I do here with the MES and the uh, NQ. However, you only require 10% of the value. Now, I actually recommend that uh, if you're going to be trading the micro that you allow around six hundred dollars and I've got a little spreadsheet here that I'll refer to in a moment so here if we were trading the big contract you're going to see when we get to the compound sheet that I'm allowing five thousand dollars and the reason being at times rather than have a six tick stop if I'm waiting for my anchor chart or for an anchor chart candle to close confirming uh, a trend reversal I may have up to a 10 tick stop but I'll explain that when we get to the chart so we'll spend a good 30 minutes today maybe longer uh, on the charts going through setup by setup and explaining those setups in detail now why consider the micro CL uh, as a way to kick your career off and this is a great little document that was actually prepared by one of my members um, uh, tick trader uh, uh, Raymond and there's some really good information uh, in this little document here based upon the spreadsheets that I use so first of all uh, here we're looking at using a two tick Renko chart and as I mentioned it doesn't matter what type of chart you use whether a time-based chart uh, range 
um, tick it just doesn't really matter but here uh, we're going to be using a two tick Renko now you can use a two tick Renko probably 70% of the time the, during the really fast markets or maybe during the New York uh, morning the open uh, two tick is usually far too fast so you're going to have to increase the time frame up to a four tick but here I've got an entry chart setting of two my anchor chart one is four and the anchor chart two is seven so typically we're going to have an eight tick stop now I recommend that you allow one to two ticks of slippage and you will find that quite often the micro CL is lagging behind the big contract okay so just be prepared for that now what's a sensible target now realistically and I'm going to show you how um, uh, I did, how you can really do that within an hour or two however you've got to learn to trade with the trend and so I've got we've got here with high commissions and slippage $20 a day is not an easy task it's made a lot easier if you're trading your two B's but we'll point this out when we get to the chart and just remember I'm going to be showing you how to trade on the big contract but but really the charts for the micro are basically exactly the same so what I'm about to show you here is a spreadsheet that here we're working on uh, an 80 percent win loss ratio and I'll show you how you adjust that in a moment starting off with $600 and each time you uh, earn another $600 you purchase another contracts but here is what it really means to you it's right here so you start off with $600 in your account your target is $20 a day now as far as that goes this is going back uh, a few days ago where uh, just before I started the live trading room I fired this off uh, just to fire off a few trades here for this specific video now here uh, I took a 3b I didn't take this one and by the way this is uh, around my dinner time uh, and <laughs> by the time I get the live room underway uh, very early uh, well it's in the evening my time which is uh, US time early morning so here I took a 3b up to the pivot so I'll just explain this for members so here I took a 3b now as we know and that is the day's high when we're trading into a pivot we've got to remember the pivots can be like brick walls in a strong trending day you're going to fly through the pivot in a range bound day or in a range in market you will bounce off your pivots as we were bouncing and bouncing here now here in this particular case I took this 3b and I picked up my eight ticks and my target was actually at the pivot now after that there there was um, a rule of one entry with a 34b there's a 2b there was a 3b here I wasn't on any of those uh, but I was on then fired off three trades on the next chart so that's sort of a continuation down here I then took this divergence trade and this was actually what we call a 2d pivot bounce and also a t3 now as you hear me say regularly having uh, one or two reasons for taking a trade is great having four or five is even better so in this particular case that hot pink line you can see there that's the prior days low as well as we're at the low of the market for since midnight but midnight trading ses trading session so that's that uh, cyan line so we had a great bounce so I had double divergence pivot bounce and it was a t a t3 meaning it was a mean reversion trade so I entered that one I was actually in quite late on that one it actually went quite quickly and you can see they have a timestamp down the bottom it moved very very fast and so I got out up here and picked up my full eight ticks there we then had a t20-1 I didn't take that one I waited for the higher low and we had a higher low here but then I had a second higher low but there's another reason why I took this trade I want you to notice that the distance between the 89 and the 200 EMA when we have a great distance like that time and time again we'll go up and kiss the 200 EMA so 
first of all I had a new trend or a potential new trend setting up the footprints to a trend are when we have a series of higher highs and higher lows or lower lows and lower highs and so when we're changing market direction or at least having a deep pullback we look for higher highs to put in and then I look at here we were bouncing off a pivot but I had a great distance there between the 200 EMA thank you very much so I took that one and picked up my eight steps now up here this is also a very easy counter trend trade for me to take why the white line up there that's the prior days close so I'm bouncing off the prior days close and as I work on 24 5 charts it's also the current days open so close and open just there uh, it was definitely a t19 divergence trade almost if not a 2d and on the anchor chart one I had a t12 okay so I had once again like down here multiple reasons for taking this trade okay so I had uh, and, and just on here as I have in the room two contracts so it was four out of four trades there minus some um, commissions there so it was fifty dollars so one hour so once again the target that we're talking about here is twenty dollars a day so there we were twenty twenty five dollars and there were a ton of trades we didn't take or I didn't take along the way so one other thing I want to point out here this is what we call angulation when you see price action strongly angling away as we had just here that is also another heads up for a possible reversal what can even um, assist that even further is if you've had three or four legs down or waves down before that reversal so the Elliott wave theory even though the Elliott wave theory is open to so much um, interpretation but the more ways you've had the greater the angulation the uh, greater the opportunity or the chance you're going to have a reversal now what this tells us is this traders on only $20 a day so if you're a nervous Snelly uh, and perhaps and that wasn't meant to sound condescending by the way so if you've had some uh, trading losses in the past uh, you've had challenges you just haven't mastered it this is a great spot to start because you've only got 60 uh, sorry $600 committed and you're after $20 a day okay and you can do that in a couple of hours now before those larger traders say 20 bucks a day that's nothing it's a great spot to start considering where you're about to be as I'm about to show you in a moment now how my spreadsheet works and remember traders um I you should already have this spreadsheet so maybe you can um, uh, download this at the bottom but it's also in the members area oh and in your welcome email you'll find the link to download at the bottom but here we can see here say if we started off with four thousand uh, dollars and we only went for two hundred dollars a day what this shows me is I've got the potential within 13 weeks of being earning ten thousand dollars a week in my account is now fifty thousand odd thousand now I did say I recommended to sort of perhaps consider allow a little more initially just up to a, a, a 10 tick stop and as you're about to see 300 days is realistic if you're putting whoops not 3,000 a eh? if you're putting that two hours plus a day in and you can see there we're there within uh, nine weeks that's the true potential and this is on the basis that you're not risking any more than 2% of your account now back on the this here you're earning $20 a day once you double your money you're up to 1400 you can now start trading two contracts or 1200 I should say once you're up to 1800 you can now start trading three so it's not until you increase your account size by $600 you start trading a second or adding a contract now it actually gets back to when you're down here up week 17 you're up to six thousand dollars that's when you then roll over and you start trading a large uh, large contract 
now you've now got six thousand in your account instead of twenty dollars a day it's that's ten times that amount now there's a whole lot of reasons why all of a sudden it becomes a lot easier also when you go across to the large contract you don't have anywhere near the slippage that you've got on the micro CL you get more slippage on the micro CL than what you do say on the micro ES or the NQ so it just happens to be that you've got much less volume also you've got the Commission so most brokers are going to be charging you uh, somewhere around a dollar fifty to dollar sixty let's just say here it's a dollar sixty for a moment I'm not going to mention brokers names my broker is a dollar fifty two but say a dollar sixty so for ten lots that's on the micros that's sixteen dollars in commission where on the big contract I'm only paying four dollars fifty two so it's basically what's that less than 33 percent it's about a third of the account size so a third of the commissions effectively believe it or not that has a massive effect to your bottom line your compound return uh, and so you want to get from your micros over to the big contract as soon as you can but what you're actually doing by taking your time here traders by taking seven 17 weeks you're doing a couple of things you're building both your confidence but you're also building your competence at the same time now what it means here I've now I'm now using the markets money once I get another 6,000 in my account I can start trading too and we can see here 17 weeks I'm up to there I'm up to actually my 10,000 a week now the next week now what that means is it's taken me 34 weeks to get there maybe 35 weeks but I've started off with six hundred dollars I've built both my confidence and competence at the same time now with the profit calculator this is where of course we can play around with uh, and let me pull it up here uh, and this is important this should be part of your trading plan by the way is where you um, uh, will tailor and build your approach your trading plan because it's a business and of course in the coaching sessions we go through this regularly but here if I've got an eight tick, tick uh, target eight tick stop commission of a dollar sixty I'm after twenty dollars which is the equivalent of two hundred dollars okay I need to execute eight trades a day now if I go up to then and on two B's you should be up here at 80 percent with your two B's okay I only need to execute six trades a day now this is where you might also say okay what if though I only achieved six ticks on average eight tick stop well there you've got 13 um, uh, trades you need to undertake now let me just show you the difference here so say here if you're going for ten dollars uh, and say here if your commission is um, let's just say five dollars a bit more than what I'm paying okay and say for after two hundred dollars a day see they only need seven trades a day where what was the previous figure 13 um, uh, trades I think it was or whatever it was I think it was 13 so that's because the commissions come down in proportion so really well worth uh, noting so as you saw from the three live trades there look I wrapped the $20 in you can do so also however it's a great spot to start now as we're going to the charts in a moment there's some key considerations I want to remind you that we need to remember first of all our floor pivots remember our floor pivots are both pivot magnets and some of your best divergence trades will come off your floor pivots okay so it's critical you learn how to trade your floor pivots we then got your open high low and close act very very similar I think you saw on the on this slide here you could see there where I'm bouncing that hot pink that's a prior days low and that was a prior days high so you can see how we bounce off these levels day in day out then we've also got the major EMAs where we bounce off our majors uh, every day but particularly our major EMAs on the anchor charts then we've got the oil levels 
okay our 20 50 and 80 cent levels our prior swings and the highs and lows they'll act as price magnets and support resistance and the current days high and low as we saw here price came down we ticked through the low by a few ticks and then we bounced again now usually when we keep coming down and testing that low you can see here we usually push through and now we've hit the low we found additional support and now we bounce off that level now a couple of key set setups that we're going to be looking at of course our two B's uh, we'll look at a, a number of other setups we've got a range of setups here that we'll look at these and new traders really the 2B is your really go to setup initially and I'll explain some of the others as we go along so as always we need to consider our entry we need to consider our stop loss where our stop goes and of course our target and with the target you will hear me say regularly what's in front of me do I have blue skies ahead so blue skies is do I have um, uh, any pivots do I have major EMAs do I have any swing lows or swing highs in front of me these all may affect my target we also traders need to consider the time of day at times the market may be very quiet therefore we've got lower volatility we've got more chop so you need to consider that and of course we must never forget to check our red flag news and as a quick reminder traders what I do is on mine I've got uh, set up here a Kono day and Forex factory set up here so each day I can simply go and click on those just to get an actual me to show you that so I can just simply click on that at any time and just check what news I've got ahead now today by the way I'm recording this this is called Easter Monday down under in Australia it's actually Sunday evening in the uh, USA so uh, on Monday in Australia it's um, the banks are closed it's basically a public holiday and if we go and check Forex factory which is the other site that I recommend you use you can see here we've got uh, British holiday European French German Italian uh, so New Zealand Australia so all um, following the uh, uh, the Easter Monday let me get that out right now the other thing why I'm here I just wanted to point out now the handouts that I refer of actually in the members area if you go to the uh, masterclass folder which is what this is you'll find the link to this and the various handouts that I've mentioned here and some we probably won't have a chance to get to some of the cheat sheets here but also the trading term sheets all of those are in the masterclass folder so let's go to the charts so first of all I just wanted to show you uh, and just explain here that during the Globex session quite often we can actually trade what we call the one tick Renko that's right one tick so each one of these candles or bricks is worth uh, $10 okay so which one of those is worth $10 now that's been if you look at that there that's basically one hour of price action now one of the reasons you may want to trade the lower time frame is that if you're waiting for the super scalper to plot the white paint bar you're going to end up with on the two tick chart an eight tick stop where if you're waiting for the super scalper on the one tick you've only got a six tick stop so you've got a, uh, a $60 stop compared to an $80 stop and of course there you can also reach your targets a lot quicker and here's a classic example so we're live right now classic example of what I mean selling down into your major EMAs that cyan line that is our prior days high so what you've got right there you've got a 30 uh, sorry you've got a 2b right there now before I do switch over there we can see here that uh, the market opened about here your first trade is here that's a 2b you've got there that would have been a 2b if you looked at Jaranka charts that look that's a 34b may have been a 2b 
we can see very clearly our t20 for reversal so that there is a t20-1 a 2b that's probably a 2b as well but you can see what I mean about your major EMAs and your open high low and close areas so what we're going to do we're going to start here uh, on the two tick uh, Renko and I'm going to go through from the right hand side step by step uh, candle by candle I know they're bricks I call them candles uh, explaining exactly what I'm looking for okay so when we have a setup but I just wanted to point out very similar to the micro CL you can see here the diagrams I showed you earlier here we've got price action running up into the pivot okay so here you can see how we're bouncing off pivot top pivots time and time again now when we also look at this pivot bounce just here you can see I've got a little double top and I want you to look down at our MACD so with our MACD platinum we can see here that well there was obviously a, a 2b but here we had a double top with divergence now I'm never a great fan of divergence trades when we're sitting right on our EMAs see over here traders what you had just there you had yes you had great divergence but you had some angulation there as well so I had a pivot bounce I had divergence and I had some angulation which gives me a greater opportunity to make money on a pullback on a retracement so just there 2d you had a double top there but let's let's just focus for a few minutes on trading with the trend you had a 2b there now how do we treat these by the way so when we get these setups and you can see you've got a pivot straight in front of you or a major area of support or resistance you can still take the trade but what I want to do is get to break even as soon as possible why because if it does bounce like see how so if you had have taken this one your trade entry you had a slingshot here as you can see as well um, basically you're two ticks away from the pivot and bang look at that there we had a bounce and it had a nice reversal so the further away we are from the pivot the greater of the opportunity for taking a profit now what about if we took this one this is a 2b got a nice uptrend it is a 2b my entry wouldn't have been until up here somewhere well as soon as I hit the pivot I want to get to break even and preferably lock a tick or two of profit in so if I do get the bounce like I ended up having uh, I'm basically protected likewise I have a deeper pullback that's a 3b come up we have a bounce now if we had have stayed with the trade we can see there and I'll start to scroll through tick by tick now but you can see there we had a bounce look you would have got your eight ticks and so I'm generally after with an eight tick stop I'm generally after eight ticks of profit okay so but once again if I'm say 12 ticks away from a pivot I might increase my target from eight ticks up to 10 ticks or 11 ticks why because when we're trading with the trend pivots become price magnets they're just like our open high low and close levels and let's not forget our round numbers over here okay our 20 cent levels so now here's what I'm looking for I've now made a higher high on price so I've got a higher high on price so what I'm looking for is another 2b and I'm looking for a higher low on price okay so I've made a higher high let's look for a higher low so let's just click this along I'm pulling back pulling back pulling back okay now that's interesting this is a very very deep pullback now I want you to notice here traders I've now taken this low out you can also see here that I've got a t20 just here which will quite often identify the start of a new trend now I don't even have a t20-1 so thus far the only real potential entry you've got 
it's hard for you to see it there but there's actually a fractal just there and let me just start uh, draw that from there to there so you had a fractal point likewise you had a fractal point just there so we could have jumped in uh, on either one of those however I just made a higher high I was looking for another higher low for a long now let's also remember you've got to check regularly what's in front of us uh -huh. now look what's down below so we can see down below we've got the prior days open we've got our s1 uh, midline point and we've got round numbers at 80 a barrel and 79 80 all of these are price magnets so let's just go back to this and see where this goes and just want to see the uh, the candle the the, the uh, tail just here this is one thing uh, which can be a drawback uh, on Renko charts Renko charts can smooth out price action uh, so much that um, we can miss valuable entries like we just had a potential Renko tail entry there now what I will actually do let me just start do this for a moment so let me do this and I'll explain what I'm about to do let me pull up the tick chart here and make sure that was the same spot okay and it perhaps went a little bit too far from where I wanted to go but never mind what I've got here traders is the 55 tick chart and unfortunately it's not a great example now when I'm trading oil during the, the New York hours I want to look at having a 233 tick chart I love the 233 tick chart after hours typically will be a 55 tick maybe a 34 sometimes even an 89 so obviously they are fib numbers so for fib numbers you've got 13 21 34 55 89 and above now the time frame that I choose all depends on the speed of the market but what I was about to explain here was that right here where we had whoops and it jumped ahead unfortunately far too far for me let me just do this and pull it back again if I can I want to get this back here hopefully it's jumped back no it hasn't I'll have to pull this back in a month oh sorry yes it's all right it's I'm, pa I'm panicking here what were you looking at here it's all right I was looking at the wrong chart see that tail just there now that's at uh, 311 a.m. now that's central standard time okay so you can see just here there's no real good uh, tick chart entry until uh, a few minutes after that uh, just down here because what I was about to explain that with tick charts quite often they'll come down pull back and you'll get a little slingshot entry much more obvious on a tick chart a true tick chart than what they are on a Renko chart okay that's what I was just trying to show you here because what can be frustrating is that uh, we get these really and this is quite a sizable move uh, and we miss an entry but you know what that's also trading that is also trading one of the greatest challenges I have with members is impatience it, it's really true like okay we get this big move here I've missed the entry okay say la vie so be it okay we just wait for the next setup but unfortunately so many traders are want to you know once again they, they want to be hunters we've got to learn to be snipers to sit back and wait for the entry now as we're pulling back we can see that we've come down here we've now hit the prior days uh, open sorry close let me get that right and open on this day uh, usually we'll get a bounce now we can see here we've got a very strong move because I've gone straight through that okay now I want you to note the Renko tails again just there Renko tails traders identify that the buyers were trying to take over or there was profit taking but I want you to notice at what level that was right at the 80 cent okay so down we come okay now now what have I got 
I've got a pivot bounce see this just here so the first thing we look at we've got divergence here and don't be fooled remember this is over six minutes traders so wasn't like it was a news announcement so first of all let's see if we had a t3 so we simply go there we look at that there so we go uh, my entry would have been 9103 absolutely so number one you've got a t3 mean reversion trade right there now your entry would not be until your super scalper sets up you would be in that uh, not quite yet you'd be in it now you would be in this trade so I want you to notice you've got a great deal of divergence at that time you've got a pivot bounce remember earlier traders I mentioned that some of your best reversal trades will come off pivots well here we're bouncing straight at the pivot now let's check what this looks like on the anchor chart one so let me just turn this off otherwise it's going to give us grief let me just do this and go global again and let me do this okay so let's have a look at this now look on the right there we're coming down with a shot down there and what I've also got on my anchor chart one is a t3 as well so we've got a t3 there as well so I've got two charts with a t3 now when we cross under the 200 EMA I tend to find that your first reversal trades are weaker and I'll just expand this again so we don't see what's in front of us see how we're, we're above the 200 see now we're below this is what I call leg one or wave one just here in fact this is where we'll have a lot of traders will go and uh, say consider using um, their uh, measured moves I'll say okay let's go and put a measured move uh, on this leg now typically when we have a pivot bounce we'd expect to come back to somewhere up around the 89 but we'll see where this goes but this is a trade I would take but I'd be ready to get out of this new traders you do not want to take this trade it is a counter trend trade you want to wait for your first with trend trade now because I've got the super scalper on the white paint bar remember the paint bar doesn't appear into the third candle so just to give you a heads up what you're looking for is for your first red candle to to appear your first reversal candle unfortunately here you'll see it'll be a white candle um, actually let me turn it off let me turn this off uh, just so we can't see the, the super scalpers because I want you to see exactly what you're looking for so when you get a reversal you've got your first reversal candle and lo and behold look what you're bouncing off the 80 again so we want to take this trade now let's just talk and one thing I haven't mentioned since we've got this session underway let's talk about uh, once again our entries our stop loss and our target so we're going to be in now because I've had this uh, a deep pullback I want to look at my anchor chart and see that candle there on my anchor chart I want to wait for the anchor chart one candle to close back in the direction of the trade so with our entry chart you can see here we've had a deep pullback note the green candles on your anchor chart one I now want to wait for an entry uh, confirmed by the candle closing on the anchor chart one so I'm entering here let me just pull down my measured move here so we're now in my stop will go one tick above and let's talk about targets for a moment 
what we can see here is that directly in front of me I've got a midline pivot so quite often we can come down and we'll have a midline pivot bounce we could form a double bottom for an example so this is an example that when you get really close to this you may consider going to break even may now of course we've got a very strong trend here and it's only our first pullback so once I've had you know really one or two pullbacks so I should say two or three pullbacks now I'm really looking for um, a potential reversal setup so our first target should be here remember I'm after eight to ten ticks but we just want to be aware we may get a bounce let's just see how we go so one two three four five six seven now see the tail just there but look where we are now we're right on the pivot so that is where we had potential uh, profit taking and buyers wanting to exit okay and through we go again okay so there we got our 8 to 10 ticks whatever your target is there's another 80 to 100 dollars now we would have only picked up by the way three or four ticks there and unfortunately I would have missed that move but never mind now let's remember you've got to check what regularly aha uh -huh, what's in front of me so down below here I've got that uh, hot pink that is the prior days low so let's see how we go for a target and we've also got that measured move there which I don't always apply but let's just see how we go with that measured move so now we're almost there okay now coming down coming down now what about taking this as a potential reversal trade by the oh and there's an entry here too I'm rushing just a bit I better slow down what you just had there traders was a your classic slingshot okay so you can see you're on the way down you had a slingshot entry nearly fully overbought look at the trend on your anchor chart you've got a beautiful downtrend and here you may notice I've only got the cloud going back um, to the 89 and I was doing some one-on-one -on -one with one of my members and we just um he said he finds it easier instead of having it go back to the 89 if he has a back to the 34 only so I thought oh that's interesting so anyway so you had uh, basically a 13b just there and you had a 21b now with this 21b we've got to be very cautious traders is we're selling right into what effectively can be a brick wall or major support so that is the prior days low just there so we may even and I also want you to notice the divergence that is setting up see the divergence here on the entry chart see the divergence setting up here on the anchor chart one so let's see what happens here okay now we've got another bounce and look what happens here we get a candle close now that candle on the anchor chart one does not actually close until 73 it actually shows you uh, the high of that candle at 72 however with the Ninja candles it won't close until 73 and the reason that's important is that if I'm going to take this as a divergence trade I'm not going to take it until the anchor chart uh, one candle closes so what I've got here and if I turn the super scalper back on you'd see I've got the super scalper I've got a pivot bounce how far away is that and look that measured move isn't too bad it's not too far away uh, and I've got the anchor chart one candle closing let's talk about entries I've been at 73 and my target would be down there at 65 sorry my stop 65 less one so that's 64 so if I'm in at 73 my stop is down there at 64 that means I've got a nine tick stop loss on the big contract which is $90 on the micro that of course would be $9 remember earlier I said that uh, sometimes I'll have up to a 10 tick stop and the reason being if I'm waiting for the anchor chart one candle to close and the and 
when will I want the anchor chart candle to close or wait for that whenever I've got I've got a reversal on I want to have confirmation now that little those two little um, trades just there and even this one if that was slow enough yes you could have scalped that down for three ticks or how many ticks that was and what we do is we look at the trend look at the strength of the trend on both charts you also see that my long-term stochastic on your entry chart and the anchor chart one is also totally oversold confirming the strength of this trend now to take this if I was to consider this as a potential reversal trade what are the sort of things I'm looking at here well I want you to notice this here and let's expand the chart for a moment and check this out wave one wave two I'm now at the prior days low low and I've also got great divergence I've also got here a lot of angulation a lot of angulation okay so where price is angling away from our major EMAs see this up here this is always a lot more dangerous when you see you've got and we call this the ice cream sandwich thanks to one of our members who um, uh, April's son said it reminding me of an, of an ice cream sandwich that is when you've got your EMAs basically compressed together this is a no trade zone one of the greatest challenges of traders is that when we're sideways now we start to fan apart now this is the anchor chart one so it looks a lot worse than what it looks on the um, on the entry chart but I've got great angulation so I want to take this trade where's my target now my stop is I've got a 9 tick stop my target is the 89 EMA okay my target is the 89 EMA so what I've got here we call this a 2d pivot bounce even though an open high low and close isn't an, isn't technically a pivot but they behave like pivots so we're going to be in the trade now so one two three four five six seven now reason I paused it right here is I want to point out that we're now at the 7980 level now at the remember at the round numbers the specific the uh, the 80 50 and 20 numbers we bounce off those time and time again so I just wonder if you're not at break even oh, and look at the tail down there see the tail on that Renko candle that's what you want to consider getting to break even when you hit those levels uh, that's eight nine now we touched 10 ticks we've touched 10 ticks at this stage now here I've got a new higher high I've got a new cloud setting up I want you to notice my long-term stochastic is starting to trend up which is very nice let's see where this goes now this here traders could easily turn into another uh, to be short this could turn into a 2b short so let's see where this goes no not to be in fact what we've got here is a t20-1 now a t20-1 is something I recommend that you mark up and I actually recommend that um, as I'm doing calling these trades out so we had a 2d uh, PB just there as you trade and just remember for any new members watching this in the session one folder and in your welcome welcome email there is an abbreviation sheet it's about five pages long okay but it covers all the abbreviations but t20-1 and the t20 which it's hard to see the arrow there they're two setups you want to learn so what you can see there price has come up we pull back look at that there at the 80 cent level okay now we've got a t20-1 now if you wanted to wait 
what we can actually do or we'll look at the distance here look at this here see the distance here between the 89 and the 200 these are the areas that make it really ripe for a reversal I won't call this one as a trade I'll see if I get another high high now I do and let's see if we now get a higher low let's look for a higher low so I've now got a new higher high let's look for a new higher low now a couple of reasons why I'm doing this is higher high higher low new higher high and I still haven't touched the 200 and look at my 34 so let's see what happens here I'm still not in anything now now we've got the super scalper now I've got the new higher high again we've now got a trade entry uh, on the next tick just there now of course you can enter and let me turn the super scalper back on for a moment you can or you can enter when you get the super scalper okay um, uh, to confirm the move however you will find particularly newer traders it's a bit more comforting when you see the super scalper plot and it's also a good reminder um, and let's also remember one other thing you can do which I just want to show you here with the t20 is that with the t20 let me find where it is uh, here it is here okay so let me uh, color region let me just do this I'll just keep it this color for a moment see here how I've got that there and let's just scroll back here so I had one there and one here because one thing I failed to remember to remind you of the t20 trend continuation trades is when you get those um, you get a pullback you have a t20 but then it fails the trend continuation trades can be brilliant setups and that and by coloring the background it can be a great reminder now uh, traders we're adding I'm adding to the indicators all the time by the way so like I just added a uh, to the MT4 folder a new pivot indicator there provided by a member so um, I know this is for NT8 but you can end up setting this up on most platforms now you can do a lot of these things like the cloud trading whatever anyway we've now got a t20-1 I'm going to take this trade I'd call it as a trade where would my target be no sorry not that one I want the second high <laughs> so I want the second one would be the 200 now of course I may very well punch through it but I'm after my 8 to 10 ticks now I'd be in actually right on that candle at 89 so let's see how we go one two three whoops two three four five six seven eight nine ten now just want to point something out here we've got the 80 and we've also got up above once again we've got the prior days high sorry let me take that back the prior days close up above whoops and let me get get out of that so let's uh, keep moving whoops do this okay I don't have an entry I've now I well should point this out I've now got a new higher high again now I do actually have a potential entry here what we've got right there is a 21b forget the paint bar for a moment you've got the 21b you've also got a slingshot trade there as well and we're bouncing off so what was once resistance quite often becomes support we're bouncing off the 80 cent level now up there at uh, 07 we've also got the prior days close the reason I bring that up is that quite often we'll go up there like here and we bounce off it so the hot pink down there that was the prior low this is the prior close so if you went to take this trade and you would not be in it until now just be aware 
that you want to quickly get to break even or lock some profit in just in case let's just see if you had have taken this and of course you've got a, a great rule of one reason that you got the cloud great trending EMAs all of the prior candles on the anchor chart one were closing green both long-term stochastics are fully overbought and you've got the slingshot so let's just see how we went how we would go if we took that one two three four five now I would be wanting to get to break even and maybe locking in two ticks that's six I would lock in three ticks ah we touched seven so right there traders we touched seven now I want you to look and do you know what this is the same actually try it just dawned on me this is actually the same um, we're on the micro I think this is the same day we were trading the micro because here I've also got the t12 is about to set up just here so I think it might have been the same as the micro chart excuse me for for forgetting now I'm recording this some four or five days later okay so um, very easy and uh, the Easter break call it it's it's I think that is the same setup we had on the micro so um, you may remember I took that trade right there I took this as a short and the reason being I'm bouncing off the prior day's close and I've got a potential t12 setting up I love t12s when oh yep there it is there when you've got the 200 EMA trending in the direction of the trade of the trend sorry so here uh, my entry would not be until 01 now I could be more aggressive with it uh, 01 sorry yeah uh, let me just do this uh, let me just get over here sorry uh, 01 yeah 01 would be my entry which is right there now let's just talk about this because if we took this trade here and, and I want you to notice it's also a 2d look at your divergence look at your divergence so this is your classic loaded trade a bounce off the 200 a bounce off the prior day's close double divergence in taking this trade if we were live right now the thing we've got to watch here is we've got all of these EMAs below us plus we've got a pivot we're now making new higher highs now I've got no idea and I can't remember it's too long ago four or five days ago now what happens here next but we could get a reversal note the footprint to a trend higher high higher low new higher high new higher low new higher high and let's just see what happens here so where to take in that one it would have been a beautiful winner there let's now look at this one now let me also say newer traders you would not be taking that you'd be taking this one and potentially this one trade with the trend initially follow the cloud trade with the trend initially now my entry would not be on this one until now now and the one of the reasons being is that when I have my EMAs like this really start to flatten out I really want to make sure the anchor chart one candle also is closed in the direction of the trade see how we had one two three four five six seven reversal candles our red candles I now want to have a trend continuation confirming the, the resumption of the trend now the other thing I want to do here traders is okay we get in there so it, it uh, we're in at uh, 97 my stop there at a there is a classic case where I mentioned we may have up to and that's the maximum size you'll have by the way up to a 10 tick stop now something here I also want to point out which is an ideal situation and we had it down here too is that when we take a trade we want to say where's my last major swing high 
or low or whatever here I've got a swing over here and the reason being when we have a really strong move up we love to go and retest the high okay so here in this particular case let's see what happens so I've got a 10 tick stop I'm after a 10 tick target one two whoops I think that's two three now here is a case also of a t20 trend continuation again we've got one right there so is that three four five six seven eight nine ten now if you were trailing we may punch through this but if you were trailing once again you want to get up to you know give yourself a couple of ticks but you want to lock in at least eight ticks out of that ten uh, well there we go we easily punch through that and it looks like we're going to then continue now this video has been going for an hour but just before we do finish up let's just have a look at where current where price action is now on a tick chart as you can see here on the 55 much lower volume remembering it is a public holiday in many countries around the world today but usually we still get um, plenty of volume for traders and this is what we call the Globex session there's some fantastic opportunities but let's just check out what we've had since the market opened today so once again the market in my part of the world opens up at 8 a.m. Monday morning okay which is 5 p.m. Central Standard Time so in the US Sunday night now once again the first five minutes we're not usually going to have a trade and you had a 34b thank you very and actually let's um look at the anchor chart too let me do this and why don't I just do this as well I just want to do this and do this so we can just see on both charts so just there that traders is, is a 3413 right there look on your anchor chart one uh, so you have uh, and that there was also a 3413 3413 look at your abbreviations charts they behave very much like two B's okay what's that a good 10 tick move that's a good 10 tick plus move this one was a 2113 look at your abbreviations chart just between those if you were trailing now if you want to go for your larger targets note where your pivots are but also that's where you can use your trigger line to stay in right so up here we've now got a bounce up here at um, what level is that there traders that there is up at gee was on uh, that's up there at 20 so we're up there at uh, 20 just here first I want to do is look at the major divergence I've got just here look at that there divergence but look on your anchor chart one so I've got a bounce at the 20 cent level our round number I've got a 2d a bounce off a round number I suppose most of you know what I'm going to call that is is your typical reversal now if we also and I'll just lock this in if we also include the anchor chart 2 for a moment and here it is right here the anchor chart 2 I want you to notice here that we don't have any divergence on the anchor chart 2 but what I do have is a t3 look at the distance here yeah, the width the angulation so I've got no divergence on the anchor chart 2 only on anchor chart 1 and the entry chart now when we take a 2 a 2d I target the 89 EMA and just below it we've also got the uh, the 81 and also our cyan line that's a prior days high so let's just see how we go with that trade if we had have taken that now that's why I'm not live on it but this is a good example coming down there as you're coming down same thing applies to your 89 to the round number and also to your quasi pivot tighten your stop because time and time again you will bounce at the, and there it is right there now what's next let me just uh, make sure I got this happening yep so I want to make sure I've got this 
set up correctly all right look at this just here I've got a new lower low I do have major divergence and this is where I would if I can get a 2b set up here which I think I will I'll take the short I will go short here now look at your anchor chart now remember I will require the anchor chart one candle to reverse now just here right there I've now got a 2b short but I want you to notice this we've got a new lower low and we've got a new lower high what's in front of us now remember I've got to get past um, this level here the prior days high and then down below we've got our 200 so let's see how we go here now remembering I would not be entering this trade until 97 which is right there so let me just so we're not going to be in until if we've been conservative with our trading that is we're not going to be until now so 97 up to 05 well that's good seven oh gee was that's that's uh, seven gee that's a big stop uh, in this particular case here traders I'd I'd max my stop out oh no no that's all right sorry I just had my maths wrong in okay so 05 that's I've got a nine tick stop sorry everyone I was thinking it was 12 what <laughs> uh, because the maximum stop I'll have is 10 ticks so that's all right so nine tick stop look at my 200 down below so I want to go for nine ticks aha uh -huh, look at this here straight away I bounce off where I'm bouncing off the prior high I want to get past this remember my stop is one tick above so I'm safe uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now where's my bounce here it is here's my bounce now okay so traders what what you've got to really do is and what you've got to really do is apply what we call deliberate practice it's no good expanding the chart and saying, okay 34 B 34 34 uh, 21 13 or whatever you've got to go through candle by candle now of course with market replay on MT8 and some other platforms that enables you to speed up and to pick your setups okay to identify your setups as if you were trading a real market now look at this here once again traders we're bouncing off the 80 cent level again now with this particular trade here oh, this would be a trade for us where would my target be somewhere up around the private uh, sorry the um, prior days high to see how we go here beautiful then we bounce off the 81 where would our stop be there one tick below okay now members if you haven't been uh, in my coaching room for some time come and join me remember it's only $97 a month eight two-hour sessions a month they are recorded so if you can't attend the live session we go through this and a whole lot more uh, each and every uh, session um, and so uh, it's you can cancel at any time after month one if you want to attend this so there's eight sessions 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Tuesday and Wednesday 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tuesdays and Wednesdays now if you wish you can also join my live trading room now that's 12 sessions a month we do three sessions a week and uh, the sessions we do there are from let's see 4 a.m to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard I know it's early but if you're serious about your trading two weeks a month and uh, 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard two weeks a month so we do one week of one time one week for next they are also recorded where I'm trading live now that's only 197 a month so it's nine nine dollars eighty basically for a two-hour live session if you can't attend they are um, recorded or 
it's five hundred and ninety seven dollars for a 12 month membership uh, to both the coaching room and the live trading room so it's uh, 96 sessions over the year for the uh, coaching or 140 sessions 44 sessions there in the live trading it's less than two dollars fifty for every session now in your email you'll see the link below to join this uh, remember if you haven't downloaded the spreadsheets the calculators they you can click on the link below or go into that folder I showed you in the members area so thank you traders uh, the next one we're probably going to do I'm probably going to do the ES in the next one so that'll be it on CL but traders I'll hopefully see you in the coaching room or in the live trading room thank you